morning traders welcome to the TMT stock market strategy video for Friday February 12th well we did get uh, yet another sell-off in the market so we did get a little bit of a bounce yesterday but clearly the last week we've been chopping around to the lower end of the range uh, I would like to see a little participation from the banks financials and tech and we really haven't gotten that yet we did get a bounce yesterday um, that was a, a news related OPEC said they would be willing to cut production put a little bit in crude oil and also put a bit into um, equities so um, that could help that definitely could help remember we talk about the uh, seasonal uh, uh, peak build which comes in March April which is only about a few weeks away so that could actually help this um, put find some sort of a bottom if you will now in uh, in what you have in front of you here is the 10-year yield you could see that the 10-year and the S&P pretty much uh, correlated as well as oil and you can see this just getting decimated here. So that's not helping crude oil, excuse me, it's not helping the bank sector at all. And that's we, what we need is really banks, financials, and of course, um, uh, technology, along with even crude, to start uh, really kicking in gear here. You know, tech um, have, has been great for 14 and 15, and now we're starting to, starting to get a little bit of pain here, which is fine. It does happen, uh, you know, there is seasonal rotations. Uh, but, you know, you know, look at the transports, look at the Russell, and they have still been out of favor, uh, and they're really going to need to participate as well. If you want to see any type of real good rally, we're going to need a few things to happen. That's going to be uh, uh, um, transports to Russell, obviously, that, that's been divergent for the other indices for the last year and a half. Then, of course, we need the banks and financials along with technology to really start picking up steam here. All right, and that's not going to happen if you have the yield just getting killed here, so that's not a good sign. But I wanted to show this to you and say that this is why the banks uh, are, are not really doing too well. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get your, your bank list of uh, stocks that you want to pick up really cheap. But again, doing something like that is like picking a fall on knife. So you don't want to be, uh, you want to be really cautious about that. Let me show you the BKX at the banking index. You can see what I mean. We just really just got killed here. Took all of 14, all of 15's gains out and within, oh, I'd say maybe, uh, well, just about, uh, about six weeks, all gone. You can see that. Look at that. Just terrible, terrible chart. Uh, but again, we are oversold, deeply oversold here in the BKX. So uh, I would hope to suspect some sort of a bounce. Seasonal time of the year is the banks and financials starting to kick into play. So I'm going to be watching the banks and financials along with um, with some of these energy names, such as uh, you know the Conical Phillips, the Chevrons, uh, the COPs, the Sucor Energy. These are some of the names I really, really like here and have really, really been getting killed because of the commodity. So I'm going to be watching that as well and um, uh, you're just basically seeing if we can catch some sort of bid if this bid is for real. Um, if the sellers think that, um, that, that, you know what, they are going to cut production. Remember, this is a way, way overly one-sided trade such as being short crude oil right now down here in the 26-27 area, okay? Doesn't mean that it can't happen. Uh, roll back over again, but... I think we might be able to catch a bid here if we can get the continuation of follow through from yesterday afternoon's trade. All right, guys, let's go right into the indexes. Uh, WTI, I just wanted to show this to you here. Um, $21 is going to be that next target. Then I mentioned it's about 16 bucks if that gets in. And that's really way, way away. But that's that's like a case if we get a real big crash in here, right around 16 But 21.20 really, I think, should hold. Uh, <clears throat> and we won't know until we get down here. We're back, back above that low of 27.56 from last week. You could see here how oversold we are. So uh, a good news coming out. Yeah, we could get some sort of a bounce. Is that going to get sold into? We're not sure yet, but we will obviously monitor crude oil closely here. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at the indexes. That 82, 182, 25 uh, of support really held. You could see that here. That is a, a big line in the sand. So the the big support areas held yesterday. And you could see here how we're just uh, now kind of still making lower lows and lower highs on our RSI and MACD here. So, again, guys, use caution, all right, and for the longer-term picture. But right now, if we catch some sort of a bid, pull back a little bit, I'd be willing to buy, uh, buy uh, pullbacks today, all right? But, again, guys, remember, if when in doubt and you really don't know as of yet, cash is a position. Remember, nothing wrong with that. All right, bear flag, we broke out of that transports uh, yesterday. You could see that clearly. We did break down from here. Um, and, again, that's going to be the 117.70 I'll be looking for. That's that next stop. And that's that line in the sand that needs to hold, okay, 117.70. All right, let's take a look at the di diamonds. Now, we did get a nice big long-legged doji, all right, nice long-legged doji here, 150.50, going to need to hold as well. That's going to be that line in the sand that comes in at that August 24th low. Nice bare flag, but look at what a mess this is, right, gap, 
gap, gap. I mean, it's just that we're all over the place. So we need to hold that area here. Um, and if we can hold, uh, we got resistance now at 159.27. But if we can hold here, then I do think that uh, we should move up a little bit. And we'll see if this next bounce gets sold into. And if that's the case, then I think we're going uh, to we're gonna go down and test the lows, if not make new lows, okay? Again, things do change, all right? If we can get some stability in, uh, in oil, banks, financials, and uh, tech start to participate, then, well, maybe, maybe, just maybe that this pullback may be low over this correction. But we don't know yet. still too early. Lastly is the Qs. Resistance at 97 really holding pretty true here. Uh, clearly, beautiful, beautiful trend line of lower lows and lower highs in RSI. I want to see this really break out, back test that RSI, that downtrend line, and then really shoot up. If that happens with some volume, and we can get up, we can get some over to some of these key hurdles here. Then I think that we have something, and I'm uh, really ready to rock and roll here with uh, with technology. All right, guys, listen. I hope it helps. Uh, so we're looking for right now. If we can get some stability, and oil stays uh, strong today, I, I would be inclined to start looking to buy some pullbacks into some good areas of support. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. We'll speak to you on Monday. Take.